The ongoing nationwide protest with its accompanying violence has continued to threaten Nigeria's 25th year of democratic rule. The dimension that involves the wavering of foreign nations' flags during the protest may have pointed out that foreign intervention is imminent and so the nation's sovereignty is being threatened. The recent event brought together top military leaders from West Africa to address the region's pressing security concerns. Speaking, the Nigerian Chief of Defense Staff, General Christopher Musa, said the threat of military coups in the West African sub-region must be eradicated as it negates the core responsibility of the military profession. Recent challenges like military coups in the region have had unintended consequences and have threatened our collective democratic values. This term must be discarded as it negates our core responsibilities as military professionals. Let me therefore use this opportunity to emphasize that as democratic countries, we, the military, must uphold democratic values in line with our various constitutions. Meanwhile, the Minister of Defense, Mohamed Badaru, emphasized the significance of collective effort in combating terrorism, cross-border crimes, and hybrid threat, stressing the need for enhanced regional security cooperation to safeguard nations and promote sustainable development. Let me remind us all that the security landscape of West Africa is presently marked by both complex challenges and opportunities for cooperation. Accordingly, joint efforts towards countering terrorism, managing cross-border crimes, hybrid threats, as well as enhancing regional security are vital to safeguarding our nations and promoting sustainable development. The 42nd Ordinary Meeting would help to prevent coups and ensure peace and sustainable development for citizens in the West African region.